Okay, we're going to go over measuring infiltration. The, the first thing you need to do is have all the materials uh, that you need to, to go ahead and measure your infiltration and also have scouted out the field ahead of time. Uh, the, the, the first thing uh, that I like to do is find uh, different parts of the field that maybe have been managed differently. In this case, uh, we're setting up our, our, our uh, infiltration measurement on an area that has uh, is it close to a field row or end rows, so you would expect there's going to be some compaction that's going to slow infiltration. And what I, you can do is take like a wire flag in this example, and you see how hard it is to go in. So this, this would ideally be a place where we would show low infiltration uh, with the manage, how this part of the field is managed. And then I would move to another part of the field where this wire flag would maybe easily go in so I could do a compare and contrast. So typically we want to set up two infiltration ex uh, experiments at the same time so we can compare the numbers and run them roughly at the same time so the conditions are the same. So the materials needed are our three inch infiltration rings, diameter rings, and you would ideally again have two of these. Uh, if you don't have the, the mark on the ring, there's a three inch mark. We want to go ahead and drive it down to that three inch mark. If you have a ring without the, the groove here, you can go ahead and measure that with the tape measure and mark it with a permanent marker, both inside and out. And then <clears throat> you want a beveled edge on the bottom so it will drive in easier. Uh, we're going to want to have some plastic wrap. In this case, I just have saran wrap. Also, you can use uh, uh, flower wrap. It may not stick quite as bad, might be better, that you would get at a florist shop. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to want to have a, a plastic bottle that has the, the hundred, in this case, it's 107 milliliters that's needed for one inch of water for this three inch diameter ring. If you have a different size ring, you would need to determine that. So we have that simply marked here. Uh, also, ideally you would use distilled or rainwater uh, because that's, that's uh, will make a difference on infiltration if it has some salinity, so you want to use distilled water. And then a stopwatch or a timer, and I just use my, my cell phone to do that. Okay, uh, the steps we're going to go through to prepare, prepare the infiltration tests are on page four of your educator infiltration educator's guide. Now, the first thing we want to do is when we set up our ring, uh, clear the residue off. So in this case, I've already driven it, but uh, ideally you might have a scissors if you have a lot of residue. So it's cleared off any, if there's any rocks or those types of things, so we're set there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, is go ahead and uh, either use a driving cap and you have a weight. If you have soil that works pretty easily, you can use this Walmart weight. In this case, this is a compacted area of the field. So I had to use basically a wood block and a little sledgehammer and then I go ahead and drive it. When we're done driving it, we're going to drive it down to this three inch ring like that. And then make sure that we've got the correct depth because we can use also use this same ring for our bulk density sample later if we want. And so we're going to be should be right at two inches all the way around. It's a five inch depth ring. So the, the three inch ring will be right at ground ground level. So now we're ready to go ahead and do our <coughs> infiltration test. And we simply take the saran wrap, make sure that we get it down to the surface. It's fairly flat and it's around the edge so I don't lose any of my water. And what we're doing here is we don't want to just pour the water in. Uh, we want to release it all at one time. That's the reason for the saran wrap. So I'm going to take my vial, take my distilled or rainwater. I'm going to fill it up to that one inch mark. That right at the one inch mark. Okay. And I can go ahead and dump the water in. Okay. Then we just simply 
pull the, the plastic back ready to release and then right when I release it I start my timer and it works best usually just to use a I guess case I'm using a cell phone and then now uh, what we would do is either simultaneously we would go to we could go to another site that would uh, we could use to compare in the book I have a uh, row traffic or an area where row traffic was and I have an area of the field that's that's better managed. In, in most cases we're going to do one inch of water if the if the ground has already had recent rainfall or recent irrigation and it's near field capacity uh, we probably don't need to do uh, the second inch of water. Uh, in this case uh, this is <clears throat> we're just going to do one inch of water because we had a, a rain last night and what we want to do is monitor uh, this and once the water is all the way gone to where it's just glistening on the surface that's when I would stop my timing and re record the number of minutes. When we record the minutes it's probably easiest to to use a little little field notebook uh, to measure it and write the write the information down, you should record it uh, to the nearest uh, uh, tenth of a minute. For example, if it was 1.2 minutes or if it was one minute exact, uh, that type of thing. So if it or if it's one and a half minutes, and then that way we'll be able to determine the inches per hour. is It's a normal term. You can see how we're getting a little bit closer. We got water that's still on the surface, so we want to wait till that's to the point where it's just glistening on the surface, and then I would stop my timing. Uh, we're getting to the point now where the water has, is just glistening on the surface, so I'm going to press stop. And right now, when I press stop on my stopwatch, I'm at three minutes and about 40 seconds, so that's about uh, three minutes and, and two-thirds, uh, so 3.6, 3.7 minutes. I would record that. And then from there, I would go ahead and determine the infiltration rate uh, per hour. So in this case, we, we took in one inch of water per, per in 3.7 minutes, so I would go ahead and do my calculations as shown on the educator's guide and then I would compare that to another part of the field. If also, if this, if this uh, was not fairly uh, wet, we would go ahead and do a second inch to see if we can get to steady state and go through the same process and, and then determine uh, whether or not uh, we're, we're getting close to steady state on our infiltration rates.